Hey you guys, what's up? It's Breezy. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video is actually going to be a kind of voiceover style makeup tutorial. Um, kind of a mini tutorial. And um, I do actually have a full face of drugstore tutorial coming within the next week or so, so that's really exciting. Um, today's video is actually a mixture of drugstore and high end. I actually use the Natasha Denona Tropic palette in this video, um, along with some new ish wet and wild products and just some regular old wet and wild products and other stuff too um so i really hope that you guys enjoy this video if you do be sure to give it a like and subscribe and let's go ahead and get started hey so hey you guys i am starting with the elf oil control liquid lotion um, and I am just priming my face with that. Before this video, I actually did go ahead and moisturize and everything like that. I used the Drunk Elephant um, Proteiny Moisturizer, I think is what it's called, off of the top of my head. And now I'm just moving to the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, this is my pale shade. For some reason, in the camera, it looks really yellow. In person it does match a lot better i promise it does um but yeah i am just using a generous amount of that um i always do and so i'm just applying that dotting that all over my face and then buffing that out um, now i am using a brush in this video and the sole reason for that is because my dog teddy my pug ate my makeup sponge so I was waiting on my new one to come in. It is in now. I actually did another tutorial with that after this. So I don't love how my foundation comes out with a brush. And that's most of the time unless it's a stick foundation. So just kind of fair warning. It ta I just feel like a brush takes a lot longer. And I just don't get the result that I want out of it. But yeah. So I'm applying that with a brush here. And just blending that out. And then next I'm going in with the e.l.f. 16-hour um, camo concealer. And concealing my under eyes with that. As well as, obviously, my eyelids. I normally don't use an eyeshadow primer, to be quite honest with you. I usually just use concealer. Um, my eyelids aren't oily. I actually have pretty dry eyelids, so I don't necessarily need a primer to keep it on. Um, but if you have more oil more oily eyelids um i would just i would use a primer if you have one and then i'm just blending that out again with a brush and then now i am about to go in with that same concealer down the center of my face so just to highlight and kind of bring those features forward and kind of help in the highlighting and contouring process i do my forehead down the tip of my nose my upper lip and my chin and then I'm just going to go in and blend those out with that same brush. Does anybody else ever feel like doing makeup is so relaxing, though? Like, sometimes I catch myself, I'm just doing my makeup and my eyes are closed. I'm just, like, relaxing, hanging out, chilling. And I'm super blind and I don't wear contacts. So if you see me jumping in super close to the camera, that's why. It's because I cannot see what the fuck I'm doing. So yeah, there's that. And then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Um, this is in Fair and I laugh right here because <laughs> every time I do that, it just makes me think of like spanking and it makes me laugh, but yeah. So then I'm just applying that. This is with a different brush. I didn't show that. Um, it's one of the Morphe brushes. It's like the pointed tapered setting brush. I think it's called, I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah. And also it rubbed off of my handle. Um, but yeah, I'm just going in and applying that to my eyelids and my under eyes.
and now I'm applying that. I do powder my whole face, not everyone does. If you have drier skin, I wouldn't recommend doing this, um, but my skin is pretty combo. Plus, I just like to lock everything in. I don't want it to move. I want it to stay all day. So I do set everything. Um, sometimes I think though on camera, it can look like you're applying a lot more powder than you actually are. But once you kind of blend everything in, because you don't really show kind of like what you put in your lid and mine was running out. Um, but yeah, so I'm just applying that all over. If you could see the handle of my makeup brush, that is also the doing of Teddy the pug. He, uh, Likes to get up on my makeup stand. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. And I really don't contour. I more so bronze, but kind of in the same motion, I guess. Like the same areas I do my forehead and my cheeks. But I don't really worry about kind of structuring my cheeks that much. I do kind of go in a similar motion, but I bring it kind of far in and try to blow that out as much as possible. I just want to be bronzy. And it adds a little bit of definition, but not too much. I'm doing the same thing to this side. Again, I'm blind. So like I'm pretending I can see what I'm doing in my phone, but I can't. And then I'm going back in with that same powder brush. Sometimes if you go a little bit too heavy handed, you can go back over. I think some people call this veiling. Um, you just go back over and do that. And now I am going in with the NYX micro brow pencil in blonde. I'm just going in and doing that and filling in my eyebrows. And if you hear anything crazy, that is also, again, Teddy the pug. So if you hear any pig snorts or anything crashing, it's probably him knocking it over. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm just filling them in. Um, and I think I had mentioned this in a different video, but I'm not sure. Um, but my eyebrows are already really full. They're just blonde. So I kind of go in and just kind of map them out, extend the tail a little bit, and then add a few hairs in the front. Or, well, I guess hair strokes in the front, and then blend those out. And I'm just doing the same thing to this side. My super dirty mirror with my fingerprints all over the back of it. Oops. One thing I have noticed with trying to like record and try to make take makeup pictures is how badly I need my eyebrows waxed. It's just, it's a problem. But did I go? No. And now I'm going with the um, Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. This is a newer palette of mine. I actually bought this off of a friend of mine who hadn't used it. And I was like, are you crazy? Um, if you see the faces I'm making, you can tell how excited I am to see it. And then I'm going in with the Morphe. I can't see the numbers, but it's like a big fluffy blender brush. And then I am going in with, what am I going in with? The, can you tell how indecisive I am? Going in with the nudist shade. It's like a pinky peachy color transition shade. And I'm just going to blend that into my crease now. Really buff that out. Usually for my transition shade, I kind of stick to windshield wiper motions. Just to kind of blow that out and set down some color for the colors that I'm going to put on top. One thing I have noticed with fair skin is because in this video, I was not self tan. This was actually before my self tanning video. I was probably the fairest I had been in a while. And it's really, really hard to find a transition shade that works, I guess. But I really like this peachy color. I went for something peachy. Normally, I do go for warmer eyeshadow, but not normally peach. I usually go more for like oranges and reds. And then I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. Not that you can really see it, but I'm doing it on the other side too, I swear. <laughs> and that brush looks humongous on camera. And it is a pretty big blender brush. Like you really can't do any detail work with it at all, but it's really good for laying down your, um, your transition shades. It's really nice to kind of blow those out and have like a really kind of smoky crease.
Oh, and then I'm just going in with, I'm sorry, I completely missed that part. Um, I'm going in with one of the deeper peach shades and going in with a smaller brush and deepening up the crease. Going a little bit lower with this color. And for these, I do a little bit of a circular motion on the outer corner to lay down most of the product. And then I start to go in with windshield wiper motions slowly. <music> Again, me pretending like I can see what I'm doing. Just going over that, double checking that the eyes match up. Blending out again. And blending out again. Spending 37 years blending as usual. Do you ever like start doing your makeup and then you get like really tired halfway through like your arms? You're just like, Jesus Christ, this hurts so bad. Like <laughs> I always do that. And I really for stuff like this because of the eyeshadow that I go in with after the fact I really don't worry about getting it on my lid um and then now I'm just brushing off my under eyes with that same setting brush just to remove any fallout and then I'm going in with those same peachy shades that I used on the um upper eyelid I just mix all three of them and buff them underneath my lower lash line just to smoke that out a little bit and add a little bit of definition. I don't always do that. Um, if I do a more simple eye, sometimes I like for the bottom eyelashes to be like mostly blank. I just think it lifts the eye a little bit. But in this case, I wanted to do something a little bit more blown out and smoky. And I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye. That's a really cute face. I look like I'm possessed, but okay. And just making sure those match up. And now, oh my gosh, the star of the show, the Stila um, Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I think this is in Kitten. This is my jam, okay? These, I'm obsessed with all of them. It does not matter what color it is. And they're so easy for application. So I'm just going in and I wouldn't say I'm really doing a cut crease, but kind of. Um, I'm really carving out my lid with this. And these are just so easy to, like if you want something quick and like on the go, you literally just like paint them all over your eye and then just blend it out a little bit. And you can use a brush or your finger. Sometimes I'll do either one. Um, or I'll switch back and forth, like I'll blend it, like here I blended it out a little bit with my finger and then I went in with the brush to kind of buff that out a little bit and blend that color that's on the end of my eye into that. And then I'm using the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Setting Spray and I am misting that all over my face. One thing I do is I actually do my setting spray before I do my highlight because I do notice that it makes my highlight go on a lot smoother and a lot more um, vibrant, I guess you could say. So now I'm doing that. I'm going in with my highlight. And this is the, I believe the Mary Luminizer by the Balm. Did I show that? I missed it. I need to be a better YouTuber. But I'm just blending that out. And highlighting, highlighting. The one thing I really like about this highlight is it works on me when I am self-tan and also when I'm fair. Um, I have noticed lately, though, I feel a lot more confident, I feel, when I'm self-tanned, so that's been great. Um, but I'm just blending that all over and then kind of doing the same process of taking my setting brush with no extra product on it, just what was on it previously, and kind of blending over any spots where I think I... Oh, 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 here comes the sneeze. Okay. And again. Okay. Am I the only one that can't ever just sneeze twice? All right, and now I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. This is my jam. This shit is so glowy and I'm wetting it. I love this for an inner corner highlight. Oh, so good. So just doing that, wetting it more because it's not as vibrant as I want. And again, pretending like I can see what the hell I'm doing, but I can't. 
also still have a cold from Nashville, which was like uh, weeks ago. But I have the immune system of a small child. So I'm applying that and just blending that out with a different brush, a smaller blender brush, just to make sure it's not so stark. And then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. This eyeliner is so good and so cheap. And also, do not get freaked out by me basically shoving my nail in my eye. I have, although they're super blonde <laughs> and they look a little freaky, um, I have really like long, super curly eyelashes. So I literally have to like physically move them out of my way sometimes and like push them down so I can get past them. And frankly, winged eyeliner is just like a struggle like some days I'm really good at it and some days like I literally feel like I've never done makeup before in my life don't mind my weird crooked fingers I literally hate my fingers can I just say that like they like nobody probably was even paying attention to them but I'm just like so uncomfortable looking at my own fingers right now I have to point it out so I'm just trying to even that out the best that I can. This was not a great eyeliner day for me, of course, one of the days that I'm recording, but I'm trying to just kind of match that wing up with what I have on my lid. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing that and pulling that wing out a little bit and doing the same over here, shoving my nail in my eye. At least it looks that way, but I'm really not. And then I'm going to add the L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous Mascara. I love this. I have eyeliner on my hand. I can see it. It's bothering me. There's a clip that we're editing out where I'm wiping it off, but just know that I remove it at some point. Am I the only one that blinks into their mascara? Like, a lot of people, like, just hold their eyes straight. I like to kind of, like, just, like, I like to fight my mascara wand and just shove my eyeball at it. No, but I do wear a lot of mascara. I like it. Plus, I have really blonde eyelashes because I'm naturally pretty much a ginger. So, I feel like I need a lot to try to, like, coat them all the way. That was Teddy, if you heard that. And just applying to the other eye. And then I'm going in with the um, ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF, and I am outlining my lips, which frankly is hard to tell. My my natural lips are really dark as you can tell they're like really red so sometimes it's kind of hard to tell on camera and in person I promise um like where I'm actually lining my lips at um I don't normally over draw my lips that much sometimes a little bit but not anything super crazy but yep I'm just going over that and I'm filling my lips completely in with that because I'm gonna go over top with a lipstick yes and I'm going in with what's your sign by Colourpop I just really love Colourpop like I don't know if anybody else is like that but I feel like everything they put out I just love it so I'm going in with that and then I'm also going in with a little bit of the Maybelline Beige Babe lipstick just to kind of lighten that up a little bit because it was a little bit darker than I wanted and I know this is a lot of lip product so do with that what you will. I apologize. But I like to kind of leave the outside a little bit darker and then kind of just like blot over it with the lighter lipstick for kind of an ombre effect. And we're done. I hope you guys like this video. And if you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.